but I'm yeah, but let's let's different. talk about the scientific research side a little bit. So, um, there have been immense cuts to scientific research so far. We've seen billions of dollars in losses of of these grants, and and you know a lot of that has been fought in court, and then and then they'll say, oh, it's you're not allowed to actually make these cuts. But as you allude to, if you lose funding on these kind of like studies that these longitudinal studies that you need to be continuously collecting data, and you have a gap in data collection that completely wipes out your your kind of um, your study. And so we're seeing that. We're seeing, I talk to young scientists, PhD students, early stage career scientists all the time who are just, not, not only are, are they losing funding or losing PhD spots right now, but there's a, there's just this incredibly low morale that we've really never seen in science before. And, and what that's doing is it's really forcing people to think, oh, do I even want to be in this field? Do I even want to, you know, continue in the sciences? Or do I want to go to other countries? Because by the way, some other countries are creating these programs to like adopt um, U.S. scientists. Like, like I-